everyone. Not too long ago, I came back from my trip to Thailand and now I have some Beyblades to unbox. So let's begin with the less expensive ones. And first the not mystery one. Here we have Union Achilles from GT. So let's open it. I will already have my scissors. So let's get into it. I know what I'm doing. also with the stickers but you can't really see the difference so I'm just gonna leave them off for now here we have Achilles so now let's get them off metal it's plastic but this is actual metal so let's take it out so here you have this part the attack part then these two parts I don't know what they're called but I think they're for balancing out the bay put it back in yes and now let's do the metal part so here you have the metal part with the not the, with the plastic accessory part um, I, you can't take it off I think because it's not very much working, but might be able to, but I don't think so. So let's put them here. And now for the driver. This is the only part I know. So you can spin this to put it higher or lower. If you look closely. Either higher or lower very lower, so like medium, so low, medium and high, so, put, so I'm just going to put it on low, okay, now I'm going to assemble it. There we go. I did see this little part with an arrow that points forward, so let's put it correctly. That is incorrectly. Okay. Yeah, this is more correct. I don't have a launcher with me currently, so yeah, this is Achilles, Union Achilles. Now the 
thickest bead length but you can extend it as I've already shown so yeah that's Union Achilles it's it is a pretty heavy bead weight so yeah let's put it here and now let's start with the mystery boxes first we'll do the lower weight ones then the super game ones let's start with the golden one i personally i want Veltriac or what this one's called again i haven't watched this series in a long time so i don't really know the names of all of the Beyblades the base no Beyblades the base but still know the original ones so yeah let's take it off one we have so there are no stickers for an extra surprise we there are stickers but that kind of scan and also this QR code I don't know what it's for but you can scan it if you want to okay then let's take out the bag How do I Okay, that works. There we go. And they're off. So we'll start with the dry. It is covered in duct tape. And tape, not duct tape, specifically. There we go. Let's stick that in here. Then let's open the dryer. Okay. I'm first going to show you guys. switch but I do not remember how to do that uh, it's not turning yeah it's this driver I don't know which one this is so it's still a surprise for me so let's move on to the next part the metal part okay I'm going to cut this this one but I don't know its name I do know how it looks like but not specifically the name these are not the best things to be able to cut with okay go that's easier now you got oh it's this one I was first first I thought it was again covered in wrapping but it's covered in some kind of tape how do I get this one now it's like a little wait uh, 
pull it out. Oh, there we go. So, there we go. It is off and it is this one. I don't seem to recognize it. So, this is also something I don't recognize. So, let's first take it out to see the parts. There we go. So we have this part, which is from GT. So it's a newer one. Then we have this G string to fit together. So let's put them back in and then we can assemble. so I don't know what that says and on the front it is this one so it's not Valtrek or this one but that's okay it's still a beautiful one let's put the missing in and the driver and there we go I still don't know how to do that, so, yeah. Or does it, I think it might mean that it's stuck on the fence mode. Because the fence has a little arrow pointing to it, so I think it's just on the fence mode. Stuck. So here we have him. A bit bigger in width than Achilles, I think. Of course, Achilles has a bigger top part, but yeah, it's a bit taller technically, not wider. So yeah, that's this one. Let's hand spin it. It's not as good as Achilles in stamina, which should be obvious. So yeah, that was that one. Let's put in with this. And let's get this out. So next one we have this dark mystery box. I'm hoping to get El Drago or Pegasus. So yeah. I liked the earlier versions from like Beyblade Metal, I think it is called. Because they were easier than this and did not like explode or burst in Beyblade terms. So let's open it up. Go. And let's open. I, there we go. Now I'll open this out. falls out. You can't really recognize which one it is from just the stickers. So unless it says which one it is. B151 Vault 16. So B151 I'm not going to really try to look at by looking at the packaging. So let's just get them out. Don't do it like this. Just do it like never had four pieces in a mystery box. 
and a mystery pack. So it might be one of them, but I'm not sure. Let's get this out. Uh, we'll start with... I'm guessing this is still the driver. So let's start with this one. Wait. No, you can't. No, you actually need scissors. Just to be sure that you can just pull it completely off, then it falls out. It is this driver, which you can switch for the back so that this little top goes in or out for defense or stamina. I know this is attack probably. And I don't know if this is defensive stamina. You can switch out between those three or two technically. Yeah, this driver. Then we'll, then we'll open the one that's sticking to it. This is probably the Like, oh, I think I know what this is. You'll recognize it probably. I think this is the ring that goes on to the metal sometimes. Oh, so, yep, it's the ring that goes on to the metal. I don't know what this is called since this is an older type of thing. Yeah, let's get into these two. So I'm pretty sure this one is the metal, so let's open it up. That was good. Let's empty that stuff out. So then this one again, just like last time, but there is the end. So let's put this on. Just put it on like this. Yeah, I don't think it's one of the metal things. So yeah, that's the metal with the ring. And now we open the top. The disc. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was called the disc. So that's what I'm gonna call it. Correct me if you know it. Yeah, this has too much tape, so I'm just gonna cut it open. It's like a very thick one, very big one. So I'm gonna try to rip it open, but yeah, that would be the way, so first. And get this. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut it. So, yeah, uh, that's stuff it. Cool. Luckily, it's not such sticky. Okay. Maybe you can do it like this. Yes, you can. Okay. That was a bit harder. So now we open it. I'm going to do it from the side if I can't get it open. Still not opening. I saw some blue, so it actually might be it. I cannot recognize it yet. So let's open this up again. And there we go. Ah, it's. Oh, it's. It's longer, but I don't know which 
permits theories of Raymond. Since I see the dragons, I see that these spikes that are a bit shaky, so they can, so they come out during battle. I guess during battle, and you spin them, they like come out. So it's a special one. This one's kind of stuck, but okay. I know it's just like that, so let's throw it out. Okay. Did that one was already out. Oops. So there we go. We have this these parts. I have never seen this one, this metal part yet, so there we go. Okay, turn it around. Same thing. Okay. Let's put it back. That's the opposite way. And let's click it back in. And then, yeah, okay. Let's then assemble them. Okay, uh, the picture. Let's put the accessory back on. Put that on. Okay, then turn it. What was it so? There we go. So this is gonna be a hard one to to burst because it's pretty steady. So I'm just gonna put it like this. So yeah, there you have it. I do not know its name, but I'm pretty sure it's a longinus bay. So yeah. Let's fast. Let's do this faster because I'm feeling this is taking ages. Let's, let's first check which one this is. Oh, it's the rare one. We have the rare one. It is tacked longinus. So yeah, let's move on. So I just took a break and decided that we're going to do these in part 2 because it's already taking too long for just 3. So now we're going to do a test battle. I am using the English launchers since I can't seem to find my Japanese ones for some reason. So let's first test them against each other. So here we have Longinus and we're going to do them against Achilles. It's best to use Japanese launches on Japanese base. So yeah, three, two, one. Don't need to say that. Don't want to load. Do that quickly. Put it back in. It's quite defensive. Stamina battle. So Achilles wins. That only took one hit of damage. Uh, Longinus took no damage. So now we're going to do Achilles against the other one. But Just in Japanese. Okay, so let's first do Achilles, put it back in. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's better than two launches. But again, I can see. So now we do zero damage. And zero damage. Now we do this one against 
Longinus. So let's first put Longinus in since he has, since I put him in stamina or defense mode so he lasts a bit longer, which is useful for single launcher. Okay, now we quickly put that one back in. And that was my fault. Longinus wins. So it's basically like Pokemon. And who wins? You get defeated by. So Longinus gets defeated by Achilles. Gus gets defeated by this one. And this one gets defeated by Longinus. Okay. So yeah. That was the first part of my Beyblade unboxing. So I'll see you in the second one, hopefully. So till then, bye.